Good stuff. Buzzing. Must get buzzed. Right, I'm hoping all these controls are set right. Oh my god. Oop. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> Picking the crap out of Marge. Miniature pies. Mm. Right. So bear with me. I've never ever played this game before. Oh, the camera's awful. Oh god, the camera's awful. It wasn't now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pick up which uh, button I'd set it to. All that for one coin though. Come on, Homer. You can double jump. You're pressing the wrong button for the action. Can I set myself on fire? Nope. Would have been nice. Flaming Homer. No, no, I want to look what and see what's in there. On this edition of Boundary Break. Oh, shock lumps. It's going to have to hold on for a bit at Marge. Going around breaking everything I can find. Don't mind me. Oh. It was rather kind. I didn't think I was going to get that. I'm going to do whatever the opposite of a speed run is. A slow run. Slow walk. Simpsons hit and run slow walk. Not really. Well, I'm not going to do a speedrun either. I don't have 50 hours a day to commit to that. I was to say, I think my car's just there anyways. <laughs> that lazy, I just had to phone it from across the street. Okay, dokie. Oh god, that was awful. We're off to a regret start. Whee! Hey, yeah, like, give some time to... ...let the, uh, the lines play out. I mean... Yeah. Get out of the car, thank you. My god. I love senselessly pushing things. Yeah, me too. Come on. What's the point though? Oh. It has been a while. Sophie. Long time. And see. I thought I'd put my camera on for fun. Because why not? Unlike Homer, I have lost some weight. So I was like, eh. My eh, mugs. More like a 5 out of 10 than a 3 out of 10 like it used to be. And how have you been, Sophie? I forgot what I was doing here. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Brilliant. Wow, I've got such an itchy nose today. I'm just, like, terrified of... As soon as you put the, the webcam on, it's like you just want to do loads of things that you shouldn't be doing when a webcam is on. Yeah, the thing is, it's been so many years, Sophie, that, like, most names have just completely evaporated from my brain. There's an image for you. A thought evaporating. Uh, but I do remember someone helping me through Yakuza, who was a much bigger Yakuza expert than I was. So I'll take your word for that, and I do appreciate it again. Because I couldn't have done it without your help. <laughs> I should probably like play the other Yakuza games one day too. Oh, okay, that'll be why I don't remember the name of Sophie specifically then. What and what name did you have then? If uh, oh, as long as it's not like a dead name or something. Might have to help me with this because I was not paying attention. <laughs> That's fine then, Sophie. I will just take your word for it. I have no interest in, in knowing dead names. But a uh, nice new name for what it's worth. Ooh. <laughs> purchase, purchase. Uh, very casual, Homer. Let's let's go with Moo Moo, Homer. Yeah. Oh, now that's a look I can get behind. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I've seen a lot of people um, pick their their own like new names. Um, and from what I've seen, they're usually quite different. Sophie's just like, yeah, Sophie. You like, you know, not in a bad way. It's just that they're usually quite, like, I don't, not even out there. Just names I've never heard before is what I want to say. Um, but Sophie, that's a good solid name. Yeah, I'm on home. Uh, off you go. But yeah, glad you found your way back here and. Um, Glad you found a name that you like, and hopefully you enjoy being the person you are now. It is. It's a, an amazing outfit. I don't know if you uh, if you watch wrestling, but a wrestler <laughs> dressed up like this for Halloween a year or two ago. He's called Danhausen. It was a pretty good outfit, I have to say. Right, Homer. Oh, I keep picking these up and not realising that they're, um, to repair my car, but I'm not even in the car. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> it is amazing. Uh, Downhausen's one of those wrestlers that, like, um, no matter what wrestling promotion you're a fan of, everyone loves Danhausen, so. Kind of transcends. Uh, uh, tribalism. It's, you know, with wrestling, you get a lot of like, uh, I don't like this wrestling promotion. I don't like this one. Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, wrestling fans are some of the most miserable, <laughs> the most miserable fans you could imagine. And I say this as a wrestling fan. So, ooh, keep my eyes on the road. Yeah, I don't know if you're in the Discord still, Sophie, but um, I can post a picture of Dan Housen dressed like this later. In the hell am I going? Can I go in here? I really should keep my eyes on the road, but I really need like a second screen just right next to me. Because I'm constantly having to, to do this. Ooh. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Here we go. Which is the button to get out? That's the button to get out. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'll uh, I'll post the picture probably sometime tonight. Quite spectacular. Uh, but the wrestler he has face paint on as well. So like, 
surreal. You know, it's amazing. Right, raise Principal Skinner to the school and give Lisa her science project. Can do. Oh, yep, gimme. And gimme. Oh, sorry, Madge. Ooh. Yeah, that's a really bad day. Oosh. I keep wanting to swear, but I'm being really, really good and not swearing. Right. Don't want to lose the first mission. Or second, I guess. Gotta be shortcuts, surely. Yeah. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, Okay, can I drive? Oh god, I, w I was expecting that hedge to just be completely solid and to crash, but luckily, luckily, it was all right. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. Enter the school. Oh, but I want to break. <laughs> I want to break that glass. Right. Get out. There we go. That was less tense than I expected. Um. <laughs> yeah. How's the sound, by the way? Because like I spent like the first five minutes of this stream trying to get the sound. Like <clears throat> the game's always so loud compared to the microphone. I press this. <coughs> Excuse me. Pretty good. Good. You keep me right. Um, have you played, speaking of Yakuza, have you been playing the new Yakuza games? Let's go, let's go with casual. Why not? Can't tell on stream, but, yeah. Camera's like this. I could be casual home if I wanted to. At least with a t-shirt on. I wouldn't know. That'd be weird. That'd be very strange. Right. Ooh, dice. Nice. Oh, hello. There we go. Right. Ah, a race. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, my car's a bit banged up, though. It's gonna require all my concentration. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's more like it. Man, I've been playing Outrun, one of the Outrun games from the mid 2000s, and the drifting's crazy. Where this is quite diff, for a lack of a better word. <laughs> oh. oh man, look at this skill. Where do we go now? All oh, right, okay. Man, I just really wish it was more like. Um, GTA kind of uh, directions rather than arrows on the ground. Ooh, God, get off my, get off my car. Uh, ooh. Also feels like it should go a bit faster, but hopefully with newer cars. Like I say, this game's completely... Like, I knew of it, but I've never played it, so it's new to me. Rift. Where? Ah. I love the music though, it's awesome. It's a bit like a... Uh, I know it's a cartoon, but it reminds me more of Looney Tunes. There we go. Whoa. Ooh. I was just about to say easy, and then I nearly crashed. Oh, yeah. I don't even really need a break. Yep. Getting too confident. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, my God. This is such a long race. Like, for the first race I've ever done, I thought it would be way easier. Or oh, way shorter, I should say, not easier, because it's not like that hard. Ow, 
Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, sorry. I thought I'll crash so I'll get a moment to look at your messages. Yeah. Um, yeah, that outrun in Yakuza. Yeah, that's like the original one from the arcades. The one I w I've been playing um, it's from 2006. It's called Outrun 2006. So, it's, as you can imagine, a bit more updated. But it's awesome. You just drift like mad. Not like this, though. Way too stiff. Yeah, I, like I say, I've never played it either. It's just, um... Oh, yeah, I won. Right. Yeah, I just... I just saw people talking about it on Twitch, and I was like, hmm, kind of fancy playing that. Um, but yeah, Yakuza. Have you played the new games yet? Like the last Yakuza game I played was, um, gosh, the first Like a Dragon, I want to say. But the one that like went full on RPG, and I got every achievement apart from there was like one. That was just like, uh, it was too much of a time sink, like, it was like, um, what was it again? It was like, there was a dungeon that you had to, um, like, do certain levels for it, like, and you had to keep going down levels, and like, it was basically get to like the... The hardest level or something like that, and I was just like, "Ugh, stuff it." I've completed the game. Why not? Oh, you've only you're only a few chapters in. Yeah, it's um. I mean, I really enjoyed it. I mean, obviously, when you used to like how Yakuza used to be, it's a bit of a a shift to go to a from that to an, a full RPG. Um, which, like, at the time, it was like, yeah, not that's fine. I'm cool with that, because um, I thought it wasn't going to be, like, permanent. But now, like, that's kind of where they've moved the series to. But I still I still like the, the action, like, the more action side of Yakuza. Like, I don't mind that RPG is, like, a spin-off here and there. That's, it's pretty fun, but just something about the, like, the original Yakuza games... Just like beating people up, just feels some more satisfying when you get to do it real time, you know. But um, yeah, that dungeon. Unless you really want an achievement, um, <laughs> not really worth it. Like it wasn't fun, put it that way. Uh, and that's considering I did a lot of games, uh, like the a lot of achievements for that game that weren't fun. That was like the least fun. Just. Hard for the sake of being hard, really. Oh, Flanders. Could really pay attention. Yeah, I like, like I say, I mean, I like the, I like the combat in both games. Um, like I, I can say old Yakuza now, because uh, it's that's the old style now. Um, the RPG is fun, like I say. I don't mind the RPG side of it, but. I, know. I I feel like they could have like just kept it to the side stories or the not side stories but like the spin-offs um and kept the RPG and then like bounce back and forward between action uh, or GTA like but it's not like so it's not like I'm going to stop buying Yakuza games because of it cuz it's like the one of my favorite series so you know um but how how are you finding um like a dragon like, how did you find going from that action side to um, the RPG side? Like, because I play a lot of RPGs as well. Um, I thought, that, in fact, for a team that like didn't really do RPGs, I thought they did they handled it quite well. I think it was like my favorite game that I played that year as well. What are we gonna do? Pick up Barney? Okay. Oh god. I didn't realize I was gonna skip the cutscene then. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> And 
this is some funky 60s kind of music. <laughs> Obviously, duh. Right, get out, get out, get out. Yay. Pressing the action button. There we go. Where do I go? Oh, this way, okay. And it's so not clear. I hate this system. This GPS system. I mean, I know it was like. Oh, this game's like nearly, if not two decades old now. I feel like even GTA back then wasn't quite this bad. And it was basically a GTA ripoff. <laughs> so, a good one. Oh man, such an itchy nose. Um Thanks, neighbor Rooney. Here's your reward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I completely forgot about judgment. I got judgment, but I never played it. Um because it sounded really interesting, like Yakuza bot as a detective. Yeah, sold. Um and I got the first game, but I haven't played it. And then they released a sequel as well. I haven't I haven't played the first one to, to justify buying the sequel, so... Um, yeah, like, it just looked like more Yakuza, just on the, the kind of the other side of the law, I guess. Tony, you're late for work. And today's your workplace evaluation with Mr. Smithers. <laughs> okay. I'll probably play them eventually, it's just... Only one person can help me. I think... God, I don't even remember the last time I turned my PS4 on. And, like, I can't afford a PS5, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know I can get them on PC, but I like, I'm still very much like, you know, I'm in my mid-30s. I'm very much of the generation of I want to own it physically, so I need to get the console rather than just buying the game just for the sake of owning it, you know. Uh, but I could play the, f the, the PS4 Judgment, the first one. The only thing that really annoyed me was when, um, I don't know if like they'd still do it, I imagine they would, but he used to cut out, like, the blank out the cutscenes, um, you probably remember on the, when I did the Yakuza streams, they used to blank, or cut to black a lot of the cutscenes, so whoever was watching missed out, and it's like, if I was played on PC that wouldn't have happened, so, it, oh no 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 no, talk to Barney. Oh, oh my! Ugh. Yeah, I'll back way up and then talk to Barney. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. So, I bet that I bet that happens with Judgment. Like, if you try to run it on the um, the PS4, like it'll be like, oh, can't can't stream cutscenes, blah blah blah, and it's like. Especially Yakuza, like obviously, I'm, I'm assuming Yakuza's uh, judgments very similar, but you know, the big part of those games is the cutscene. Oh, sorry, Lenny. Oh man. Ooh. What am I? Right, okay, I'm going to Lenny. Cool, cool. Yeah, talking to Lenny. More junk in the trunk. Yeah, I've got um, I've got an Elgato HD capture card, um. So yeah, like that would circumvent it. It's just man, like it was already a headache setting up like you know this microphone and all this kind of stuff. It's like little things like that. I'm just like in a sea of wires at the moment. <laughs> it's like it's more wires to add to it. Um but yeah, like the thing, I know it's anti-spoiler but 
you know, well, if you played it on PC, I'm pretty sure you could circumvent it. Um, you know, a lot easier to get around those kind of things on PC. I mean, saying that, I've never tried to stream one of the Yakuza games on PC. I could be completely wrong, but I have a feeling it's not as strict. And, and if it was, there'll be a like, there'll be a mod or something like. I'd put money on it. I'm not a betting man, but I would put money on that. Oy. Right, yes. Starting to recognize shortcuts now. Oh. God. This handles like a big truck, strangely enough, eh? Right. Hmm. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Back into you with my big drunk truck. <laughs> Come on, Smithers. Oh. So close. I thought I was going to get it then. Crash. Come on. Come on. God, what do I need to do? Sneeze on him. Like, come on. Me. Why won't it work? You for real? Oh, come on. Right, this is it. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> Rip Smithers. <laughs> um, anyways. Oh man. Yeah, Japan are quite strict with those kind of things, aren't they? Um, yeah, like, god, like, especially with things like, um, music, like, oh man, they're so strict with, like, music piracy and things like that and even like celebrities doing things that celebrities in the west kind of get away with like yeah like oh man it's a big deal if like anyone over there is caught smoking something they shouldn't or you know doing this or doing that it's like a huge thing um fascinating really but uh, man, I think I think a lot of companies as well are just you still get like flagged on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, because some companies don't realise or they don't care that someone playing your game is nothing but a good thing, really. Like. I get if you're like you're an indie game maker and you've made like a half an hour game and you can just go watch it and don't need to play it. But like when it's a big game, like if it's like Grand Theft Auto or you know something like this, if people want to play it, like a lot of the time I see someone play a game and it's like, oh, I want to play that. That looks fun. People aren't gonna play it. They're not gonna play it anyways. Mm, whatever. Rant over. <laughs> He's kind of cute. Right. Am I? Oh, God. Camera. Camera stuck. Oh, God. What an awful camera. Nyay. Right, okay, I'll go over here then. I thought for sure if I ran I could have made that jump, but whatever. Oh, what the? Yep. 
Oh. Oh no. Oh man. Hell yeah, Crazy Taxi. I love Crazy Taxi. Um Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to Um <laughs> I cannot do two things at once. I do apologize, right? I'm not gonna trust you this time. Three more. As soon as, as soon as I do this, I'll give you my undivided attention. <laughs> right. okay. Ooh. Yeah, come on, come on. Okay. Anyways, uh, did it a little bit. Yeah, that's. I remember that happening to the actor in Judgment. Yeah, I guess my brain just kind of um, pulled that out of my um, subconscious. That probably was the last time I heard of that. It's so like, what was the point? If anything, it adds a bit of credibility to it. Um, yeah, I haven't. The last thing I saw about the new Crazy Taxi. Kind of looked like it was an open world crazy taxi game. Which, I mean, I don't know. It depends how they handle it, really. I mean, they give for me have been hit or miss for a long time. Um, and, like, I was a big Sega fanboy growing up, as uh, a lot of people in the UK were. Um, like, Sega was huge over here, so. The Dreamcast is still my favourite console of all time, so you can imagine uh, I was quite a big fan of Crazy Taxi. Things like, you know, Crazy Taxi, Res was one of my favourite games. Uh, Jet Set Radio especially. Oh man, love a bit of Jet Set Radio. Um, uh, but Sega are just like, they don't always do like what's best. Um, you know, there'll be, like, little glimmers of, oh, that was nice, you know, that was cool, or, like, when the kind of, the basically handed Sonic Mania over to, uh, f basically fans of Sonic, in essence, because, um, at the end of the day, uh, fans usually put out the best content for, for those kind of games, because they're passionate about it, so it's nice that they, they got a bit of money from it. Um, but I don't know, they just do a lot of things that just make me scratch my head, like, they were doing, um, like one of those hero shooter online things, kind of like Overwatch, um, and they've sunk so much money into it, and it just seems like, I, I can't remember if I imagined it, if it was just cancelled, or it's just, it seems like va Vaporware or something, but... I say you've got all these IPs that have been dead for years, so it was kind of it was nice to see like, oh, this is coming back and this is coming back. Um, I guess the more they show, the more I'm like, yeah. don't know if I want a crazy taxi MMORPG or maybe not RPG, but an, an online multiplayer open world crazy taxi. I don't know. I just like. I like those games because they're a good single player experience. Um, yeah, uh, Burnout Out Paradise was pretty sweet. Um, yeah, there was rumblings of a new Jet Set Radio, um, but I, like I haven't watched anything. I just was browsing Reddit and someone mentioned it, so I don't know if it's like officially being announced or. Or what? <laughs> um, but you know, if it's not announced, we've got things like bomb, Ru bomb rush, cyberpunk, or something like that. I feel like that's the right name. We'll say it's the right name. Um, and that even had uh, the composer Hideki Naganuma coming back to to make some of his amazing music. So, um, but yeah, a proper jet set radio would be amazing. That is one of it's like top three games for me. Oh, okay. So I didn't just imagine it. 
Oh well. Maybe it'll be something to look forward to. I say I try not to get too wrapped up uh, until I see a bit more. Like that's why with Crazy Taxi I was like oh, I'm cautiously optimistic and then I saw a bit more about it. And I was like Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm I guess I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and wait till like the game comes out. Yeah, I've never played Bomb Run. Ugh, God, I can't say it. It's like that game was invented for me to trip over my tongue. Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Hmm. I want to say Cyberpunk. That's the problem. Like, and my tongue's kind of trying to find that P, but I'm trying to say the F instead, and it's just it's it's having none of it really. Um. Yeah, I've heard good things about it. So, man, the Steam Summer Sale is about to close, so I probably should um, finally buy it. Um, but, God, have you got any any game recommendations that are in the Steam Summer Sale? Go for it, because um, I, like, I looked at my wish list, and I'm sure my wish list was like 800 games. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, help. I wasn't paying attention again. Pick the worst car possible to follow a van. Especially if I need to be stealthy, but hey ho, whatever. I do. The music, the music, sneaky sounding. That's fine. Um, I mean, like I've kind of went through this phase of wanting to play like games that are based on '90s internet kind of things. Like, well, I can't remember the exact name, but it's like something something helpline and you basically like answer calls and it's it looks like it's like it's set in a browser or a, a windows from the 90s you know windows 95 98 something like that so kind of i'm i'm hitting that nostalgia for the 90s in my old age <laughs> which um uh, you know part of the reason why i've kind of went back to um play this because I think at this point like when this game came out I was like past my um fascination with the Simpsons um so that's probably why I didn't play it like I was already playing GTA um God, I'm trying to think when this came out I'm sure Vice City was out by the time this came out maybe even San Andreas so when I saw this it was like ah I'm already done with the Simpsons not my thing anymore. I was too too cool for it, too old. But, you know, I know people speak highly of it, so it's nice to come back and check it out. God. But yeah, like, it, it's nice that um, Sega are at least dusting off some old um, IPs that uh, a lot of them I thought weren't ever going to get another game really because like I say Sega make a lot of puzzling decisions um one thing that's funny to me is people really really think that Sega are going to make a console again and I, I don't ever see that happening like I think we're kind of hurtling towards a world where we don't really have consoles anymore or I'm not saying like soon, but I, th I could see like the next few generations kind of, it's kind of slowing down and like there's less console exclusives and, uh, well, say that and then Microsoft go and try make a monopoly and, you know, man, that's kind of uh, a bit wild. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it was a 2003, so. 2004, something like that. Seems about right. Yeah. Uh, I thought, yeah, I can look at this without nostalgia goggles because I never played it. Because, uh, man, like going back to some of the those early GTA games, it's like, it's, it's weird what back then was like oh man this is so I mean it was groundbreaking but like you go back now and you're just like you know you can never look at it through those eyes again really at least I can't um GTA the, the weird thing about GTA 3 
So I remember that map like the back of my hand. Um, that was just so itchy today. <laughs> it's like, it's going to be like loads of clips of me going, mm. um, just like, it's such a small map, that first GTA 3 map. Like, I could happily play it now and know exactly how to get from one one map to the next, like, or one island to the next without even, like, looking anything up. Um, yeah. Yeah, Capcom have been kind of, for the most part, knocking it out of the park. Um, I like the opposite of Konami. Like, Konami just keep... Oh, man. Konami just keep, for lack of a better phrase, being Konami. You know, like... Like... I mean, I know a lot of people are excited about the new... Um, Metal Gear. But... I'm, <laughs> truth be told, I was never a, a Metal Gear fan to begin with. I know that might be a bit shocking. Um, there's like a lot of games that just kind of I never played. Like that, I don't want to say it passed me by. I just I never. I don't know why. Like Metal Gear was huge, just like especially Metal Gear Solid when it came out. Like everyone was going on about it. Um, and like I had a PlayStation One, and it was pirated, like chipped. That's what we called it back in the day. It was a chipped PS1. So basically, I could have downloaded whatever I wanted and played it on it. Um, but I never did play Metal Gear Solid. Um, and I never got a PS3 to play that re-release that came out a few years ago. And I've heard nothing but bad things about the most recent re-release. Oh my god, reverse. So, you know, I, I don't have that nostalgia and hype for Metal Gear Solid. Like, I bought Metal Gear Solid 4 and I, it's just sat on my shelf collecting dust. Um, yeah, and like, like I, I played the first Silent Hill game. Oh man. First Silent Hill game, where do I even begin with that one? <laughs> um, like, so I had it, as I mentioned, I had a chipped PS1, so had a pirated copy of the game and I had a SCART cable to plug it into my TV but the SCART cable was a bit dodgy so Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in back, Rob. yeah totally brain farted there so when I plugged the SCART cable into my TV to play Silent Hill um, it was black and white and I was quite young at the time and I was just like, oh right, it's a horror game, I guess, like it's black and white and there was no sound and I was just like, huh, I guess that's just like a stylistic choice, you know, that it's black and white and it it's silent. Um, and it wasn't until years later that I was like, oh right, that was just a really bad SCART cable that I used and that's not exactly like at all how the game is. So that kind of like put me off um, playing Silent Hill for years. I do have a few of the games now, but um, I liked Resident Evil at the time. Resident Evil 3 especially, like I played that up until like a certain point that I got stuck. Um, it was like right on near the, the last boss, I think. And then it was just like... Um, trademark of me was playing a game till basically like 99% through and then like getting stuck on the end and then just losing interest. I did that with like loads of Zelda games. Um, I think like with Zelda Wind Waker I like soft locked myself. So I was just like eh whatever. Um, but yeah like the whole thing with Silent Hill it's like ah, oh, it's black and white, and it's it's. There's no music. There's no sound. Like this is boring. Um, so I just never. Oh, that's too young to realise I was being an idiot, and I didn't have a good SCART cable. Uh, but it was weird though, because the SCART cable wasn't an issue with any other game. It was just that. So I wonder if it was like a burnt, maybe like a a US copy, and it wouldn't 
play right on my PAL console or something weird like that. Um, so yeah, I, growing up, I ended up like I say, I played Resident Evil Three. Um, it's like some puzzle I got stuck on, and I, I remember I had a a magazine like because back in the day you got magazines if you were stuck on a game, and I had a, I think it was Games Master or something that had a walkthrough for the part I was stuck on. And the part I was stuck on, even in the guide, it made no sense what I was meant to do. So I just gave up on it and never completed it. Um, so then, like, a few years after that, I got into Fatal Frame. Now, Fatal Frame, now that's nostalgic for me. I love those games. It's just, um, you know, there's just something about Fatal Frame. I think, like, it's a bit creepier and um, I guess it's just personal taste, really. I keep meaning to go back to Resident Evil, but... It, no, it just seems like too much like hard work. <laughs> so, um, but I've got the first, I've got Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 4 uh, physical on physical for, P- for PS2. Um, I don't think I've got one or three, but it's just one of those things. I'm like, oh, I'll get around to it, I'll get around to it, and then I never do, you know. Um, anyways, cardboard tubes. Okie dokie, let's do it. Just I knew if it didn't stop for a second, I was just going to be completely lost with what the hell I was meant to be doing. So yeah, um, even with Fatal Frame though, like I never, um, I never played all of those games. Like I've, I think I've got the first three or four games across like Xbox and PS2, um, and not too long ago I ordered the um, the ones that are on Switch because. Um, if you ordered, like, there's a, a certain releases in, like, Hong Kong and certain parts of Asia that release with English subtitles, so I ordered those, um, which I should probably play as well. But again, like, the thought of trying to set up something to capture Switch gameplay just makes my skin crawl. <laughs> so, we'll see. You know, it's like I should really get back into streaming and making an effort. Um, because you know, when it, well, you when I made effort, like people showed up, and I've I've made half an effort, and and you you've showed up today, Sophie, and it's much appreciated. So, you know, if I kept. I kept making effort, I kept getting subscribers and, you know, people showing up in a nice little community that, that I built with the, the help of some people in that community as well. So I don't want to say it was all me because it, it certainly wasn't. So you never know if it gets to a point where it's like, oh man, everyone's gagging for some Switch content. Then it's like, man, I could have phrased that word, that better though. From some Nintendo Switch content. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, please don't clip that. <laughs> but yeah, um, it'll be worth investing in a capture card, you know. Because I do switches like what I've been playing a lot of lately. I, I got Pokemon Scarlet, and I just played that for like two weeks straight, and could have streamed that realistically. But sometimes you just want to play a game, and whoa, 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 why? Why is the time limit so strict is what I want to know. Could I have just drove through the Tamako fields? Or am I just terrible at this game? Um, yeah, like, I know... I don't know if it was far or not. Like, I think... I know, like, there was one, two, and three. They were called Project Zero over here. Um, and... There was one or two on the Wii U. I think that's what was released on the Switch. Um, like there were re-releases with like minimal updates. Like I don't think they really updated anything. I think it was just a straight port. Um, and like you know, I never really bothered with them on the Switch because uh, on the the Wii U rather one because I don't think they ever got like an official release in the UK. Um, if they did, like, it wasn't a wide release, um, and I remember reading reviews about it, and they just they weren't 
they seemed like they weren't that good, like downgrades from the games that were on older systems, which to me like was a bit. What was the point going out of my way to buy it or play it if they're not even going to be as good as the games that I already have and love? You know, that was my thinking. But now that I'm like a bit older and I wouldn't say wiser, but um, <laughs> you know, have a spare money here and there to spend. It's like, yeah, I'd like to have a, a Fatal Frame complete collection. Having the shinies, the shiny pretty things on my um, my uh, shelves will make my lizard brain happy, you know. So, yeah, it'd be nice to play through some of those Fatal Frame games. It's at least, um, oh god. I actually forgot that there was um, police in this game. What did I do? I was just running over things and people. It's all good. So, yeah, but I really should go back and play Silent Hill. Especially, I know everyone's favourite tends to be Silent Hill 2. Although I've heard like 1 to 3 are really good. Uh, and Foz, all right, and then it kind of goes downhill because it was a different team. So I, I'm happy to play the first. Um, no, 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 no. God. Oh, two clears. Thank you. Um. Oh yeah, Suda Fifty One. Yeah. I started a mini uh, Suda 51 collection as well. Speaking of collections, it's like if if they're slightly weird and, uh, you know, some weird Japanese kind of de developer, then I just kind of latch on to that, like, sweary, um, you know, that did uh, Deadly Premonition, amongst other things. But, uh, yeah, I love Suda 51. It's nice that... Uh, they're doing a nice remaster of Lollipop Chainsaw as well. That's a an amazing game. <laughs> uh, probably one of Suda 51's last games that I really enjoyed, actually. Because um, I I played played Lollipop Chainsaw for sure. Um, I played a bit of No More Heroes. Um, but I got rid of my Wii not long after that, so I never ended up completing it. Um, and the, what was it? Dead? Is it Dead to Rights or something like that? It's been years since I've played it. Basically, like... It was like, I think it was before Lollipop Chainsaw, but... Um, yeah, like, I haven't played No More Heroes 3, because... They had that like, game in between 2 and 3 where it wasn't really a No More Heroes game. It was, like, kind of in name only and, like, it just did not look up my street at all. Because uh, No More Heroes 1 was just so wacky and over the top. And then 2 was like, yeah, it was all right. It was weird. Like, to me, they felt like there could have been games on the Dreamcast because it was just that weird, cool style, like, almost like Jet Set Radio kind of cell shading and just, like, quirky and all the kind of good stuff that Suda 51's known for. But uh, the last Suda game that I played was um, it was that MMO? I don't know if it was MMO but it was like a multiplayer online game um, and like you're descending or ascending a tower um, and like the mascot was like the Grim Reaper on a skateboard I can't even remember that game why tell me to do this if I couldn't do this? My god, you are annoying arrows. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Let it die. It was alright. Like, I played it for a, a little bit, but I wasn't blown away by it, you know. It was just whatever. Um, I don't know. Like I say, I don't think Suda's really released a game that's blown me away for a long time, but... That's with the caveat that I haven't played No More Heroes 3 yet, so, you know, Lollipop Chainsaw was the one that blew me away last. Although it was really cool that um, they went back and re-released his old detective games 
from like I think they were from the the Famicom or like Famicom Disk System. So like kind of things that I never thought we'd see a release of here. Just like I, a few years ago, I just went through this massive phase of like I must own everything that Studio Fifty One has ever touched, um, and it was kind of. Uh, a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be to to get everything physically. Um, there was no chance of get everything physically in English, but then the the re-released those detective games and it became more of a reality. So that was pretty cool. Right, God, I can't believe how fast Mr. Burns is, or I guess Smithers in this case. Am I going the right way? Oh god, no! No! Oh... Boo. Oh, okay. I'm still safe. I thought like for sure that was going to be the end of it and then it would be like, yep, Mr. Burns won. I just wish there was like some sort of indicator on my map, you know? Oh, there we go. Hey. But yay, I crashed. <laughs> um No, I definitely do not own short piece. Um there is a lot of games, like I said, that are hard to come by. Um I know like there's a lot of like there's some that like he was you know before he was even pseudo fifty one really. And it's, I even was like, oh, do I want these really? Is it really Suda 51 if it's not Grasshopper, you know, and these kind of things. But, um, because didn't he like start on like the Kirby games as like, you know, run of the mill developer guy with, um, you know, all those kind of lot. But, um, my Japanese has got better over the past few years. So like buying them from Japan and playing them is more of like a realistic option for me now. Um, oh nice. How much was it then? Ah, wrestling games. So was it like the Fire Pro games then? Uh, human does ring a bell. Yeah, Fire Pro, there we go. Wow. Ah, it's weird when I remember things because it's like, man, my brain still works. It's just surreal to me, you know. Um, Okay. Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> wow, okay. Hmm, hello salient boa. Um, yeah. I don't really believe in paying for like likes and follows and subscribes and, and all that kind of stuff. Cause like what's the point paying if the people aren't real and they're not watching, you know? If people like me, I'm sure they'll follow me and like me and all that good stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, gosh, I do want to save my game. I realize this whole time I haven't saved my game. Yeah, how much? So, how much was the. Um, okay, I can't even see the name of it. Short piece, yeah. 30 pounds? That's not bad. Like, at all. Um. But I, I never did look into it, but I just assumed, like, the really rare ones would be super expensive. It's getting to a point now with, like, even with retro games, if you get the Japanese versions, like, it's easier to buy things from Japan now with, like, Mercury and things like that. Um, so, like, even using the Japanese option... Uh, like, what once was an option to have something cheaper and it kind of felt a bit cheeky at the same time like ooh you know I've got the Japanese version I've saved like a hundred quid or something now it's like I don't know it's it's becoming less and less a viable option really oh my god this get away from him but it's like why has it got a damage meter then I'm so confused. Oh, uh, 
my god. Oh man, I thought I thought Bart had glitched, but he was just turning around to have a look. I really could do with something to fix my my beat up rocket car. Oh, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I was like, oh, oh no, uh, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm just going to go run and get my car. Um just give me a sec to catch my breath. Oh, okay. Breaker Breaker, this is Bart Simpson requesting. You have a retro game shop. Like you literally have a retro game shop. Or do you mean like you have it in the sense that like you have access to um maybe I'm like reading what you're saying too literally. So apologies in advance for that. Uh, I am an English teacher, so <laughs> sometimes my English teacher brain goes, hmm, this is not absolutely perfect English. Brain does not compute. Ah, oh, man. really got to concentrate because I do not want to do this mission again. It would be really good if I didn't have to. Whee. Um, I'm not like a fan of this music though. I liked all the cartoony music, you know. But this just feels like the most generic, boring, you know, Bart's a dude with attitude kind of guy, you know. Mm. Um, close to me, okay, yeah. Oh, nice, yeah, sharp, yes. Sharp Piece is ringing a bell to me now. Wasn't Sharp Piece... Didn't they, like, re-release it on the, the DS or something? Or am I thinking of a different pseudo game? Um... Because I remember, like, the, like, different developers, you know, doing things. Um, but yeah, yeah. No, it's alright, don't worry about it, like, it's, it, it's, uh, it's not you, it's me. Like I say, sometimes when I'm reading something, I'm very, like, my, I don't intend to, just my brain's very, like, nitpicky. Uh, it's not to insult you at, at all. It's just I was making sure because like it was more to make sure because if you had a retro game shop I thought that was actually pretty cool, you know um, So I just wanted to be like oh, that's cool So not I was my intention wasn't to nitpick it, English was perfectly fine. I just like I know I'm rambling, but I do like to make sure uh, instead of just assuming, you know it was like, I made a, an, a video a long time ago, uh, and like, it was just an indie game, and like, in the description for the indie game, um, it was like mentioning something like, oh yeah, we're going to be out of early access, or we'll be in early access, or blah, 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 but it said EA, and in my mind, I just read it as like, it was something to do with EA, the game company, so like... Uh, if you go onto, there's one of my indie, indie game, like, spotlight videos I did. I just keep going on about, like, oh, it's cool that they're with a year, they're cool, you know, blah, 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 blah. But it wasn't until, like, you know, a month or two after I'd uploaded that video that I was like, oh my god, EA means early access, I'm such an idiot. But I still left the video. I don't think anyone watched it anyway, so it's not like it was a big deal. Right, what am I doing? I need to do something with fireworks. I really should have paid attention. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. I need to go into Moe's. Maybe should have paid a bit more attention. Um. Oh man. I'm surprised four people are watching. Hello, all the people that are watching. Don't be shy. I don't bite much. Right. Anyways. Yeah. Talk. Two more, please. Oh my god, talk, talk. Do I have to jump? Sorry, bot. I can't serve that was painful. Right. I'm here to buy fireworks. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I feel 
collect the fireworks. Hey. Oh man. I just like looking at the, the scenery in here. Oh, that's a bit fancy for more. That's way too fancy to be in Moors. Seeing that um, there is, there's been like at least two people working on a remaster of this game, and like one of the guys, uh, well, I say guy, one of the people, they were redrawing all the cutscenes in the cartoon style, and I just was like. For something that they will never be able to release to the public, that's a lot of commitment. Hey, Blue Ranger, nice to have you here. I'm surprised people are sticking around because my playing of this game is atrocious. Right, oh well, I'm going to have to look at the DS one um, and see what I was thinking of. So, after I've, I've wrapped this up. Which will probably be soon, because, um, man, I made myself a curry last night. And I don't know if you know this about curry or how, how often you have curry. Um, but when you make it, and if you leave it for a day, it just somehow tastes even better the next day. Same with, like, chili and things like that. So, man, I've been looking forward to this curry that I made um, since last night. And the rice is in the rice cooker. Keep them warm. And I'm just like, oh man, as soon as this, I end the stream, it's just going to be like, shut everything down, run downstairs and stuff my face full of paneer masala. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Mm. Sometimes it's the little things it's in life. When you get older, you like, you look forward to like, hmm, nice food. Because, uh, well, I can't speak for everyone that's uh, that's my age, but you become a bit more concerned with what you eat. Um, ooh, nice. Reckoning Games Pain. Hmm. Yeah, he, um, Suda just had, like, dipped his toe in a bit of everything, really. Um... Oh yo yo! I really should have been paying attention. <laughs> um, that's kind of why I like Suda. Like he's, I don't know, he's. You know, everyone gives a lot of praise to um, Kojima because like, he's quite like a, a visionary in his own right. But I don't know. I think like, I think Suda's just got a stronger voice. But um. You know, he just appeals to me. Like, I it's I don't want to really be one of those people that's like, oh, you know, I'm so weird and wacky because I like Suda Fifty One. But you know, that's kind of what does appeal to me about Suda is that he's just really strange and like he, he kind of like a lot of cinema are like is like weird, odd cinema by strange Japanese people, <laughs> like it, um, Takashi Miyake and people like that. You know. Um, ooh, a burger. Mm, it's been a while since I've had a burger. Um, I will go out of my way to play No More Heroes 3. Um, at least. Um, but what, what, is that the newest game that he's released or is there something else that I'm just... Because like I say, I mean, the last thing I remember being announced was the Lollipop Chainsaw remaster, so... The, I haven't played two or three. He's like, he's literally in it. Like, oh my god. I kind of, um, I kind of love that actually. Like, he is one of my favorite directors. So, uh, to not even know that, or like, just to have these games pass me by and he, he's in it. It's like, I, I mean, I kind of expect people like um, Takeshi Kitano because he's like quite a big star in Japan quite well known but Takeshi Miyake I don't know like he's just a bit of an odd director that you wouldn't expect to be in a video game of all things but because it's Suda51 like I, th I feel like they're quite similar in a way like I could see um, Suda51 making a, 
a game based on a film that Takashi Miyake has made and likewise he'd make a film based on a Suda51 game. And, uh, speaking of which, he made a, a Yakuza game which is bonkers. Uh, not a Yakuza game. A Yakuza film uh, which is as bonkers as you'd imagine. Um, it's crazy. I love that. Man, now I really want to play those games. Bonestorm 2. Yeah, I feel like, um, <sighs> there's just like a very small group of people that are like, it's like Suda51 makes these games for, and I'm, I feel like I'm part of that group, which again, like it's a bit pandering to people like me, but I don't care. It's like, it's like, um, Deadly Premonition, like the main character, like yammers on and on about films and I'm just like, you know, it's kind of pointless, except I still love it, <laughs> which is like, whatever. If I if I made a game, I'd probably do the same kind of stuff, really. Like, I did look into programming. Um, I had to, to get into the Godot engine, and my god, like, I knew making a video game was not easy, but my brain just melted trying to wrap my head around it, because... I really wanted to make um, a horror game inspired by like um, early Japanese PS1 horror games. There's like a specific group of games that are like, it's kind of like Mortal Kombat where like they've took real people, then they've took the images and put them in the game. Um, like photorealistic, but it's a horror game, you go around like learning about all these Japanese urban legends and all this kind of stuff and like oh, it's just my jam I wanted really wanted to make a game like that but updated um, with like a few more like modern legends in a few like Western legends thrown in for fun man God this guy's vicious I mean being terrible at the game doesn't help I suppose but my god. Like, I, I had a decent lead, and then it was just like, mm. Oh, yes. I was like, yeah, he crashed. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Right. Uh, yeah, the Yakuza movie is... It's like, I don't know if you've um, watched the Dead or Alive films by Takashi Miyake, but it's, it's like another Dead or Alive film, really. Um, those films are quite wacky. So it just kind of... It feels like it'd be right at home in um, in that series. Because, to be honest, like a lot of... I say a lot, like maybe... He's made a lot of films, put it, this, put it that way, but I want to say like a good third of his films, if not half, are like some sort of film to do with the Yakuza... Uh, but then to actually make one that's based on the Yakuza games is, well, you know. For me, it was like, oh, two things I love combined. Ooh, kids are outside shouting. Weird. Ah, oh, man. My nose would stop being so itchy. Maybe it's a nervous thing, being on camera. Um, 3D modern, yeah. Um, yeah, Siren. Similar to Siren. Um, if you want to look it up, the games are like... It's like Twilight Syndrome and Moonlight Syndrome. Um, games like that. Um, I know one of them was featured on... Uh, oh man. Rumpa. Um, like, they kind of put a remake of one of those games... Um, into Danganronpa. Can't remember which one. That's a, another another game that um, I've got, but I've yet to play. Like, I've got so many games that I just haven't played. But um, especially <laughs> then I'm on stream asking people for suggestions for the Steam Summer Sale. Whatever. What can you do? 
Lizard brain goes, buy more things, because things are shiny. Um, but yeah, how did 3D modeling go? Because uh, I tried a bit of stuff in Blender, and I was like, man, I'm not talented enough to use Blender. So I can make a half-decent stuff in pixel art, like in... Um, there's an art... Pro I can't even remember. It's on Steam, but there's like a pixel art thing. Um... Yeah, I thought Suda directed one of the Syndrome games, but I wasn't confident to say that. So you've confirmed that. So I can go, yes, I did know that. Uh, believe me, please. Um, but, um, yeah, so I looked into the Godot engine and, like, I mean, out of all the engines, it's... If you're not a dum-dum like me, like, it's easy to wrap your head around, but, man, like... My brain was melting trying to learn things on Godot. Um, hello to all the new people on stream. Yeah, yeah, like, the, there's... Because there was, like, Twilight Syndrome and Moonlight Syndrome, and, like, there's, like, a very... Like, there was one of the first ones, and then there was, like, spiritual sequels to it. And I'm talking about the very first one that used, like, um, photorealistic characters and they took like thousands of pictures of like the Japanese countryside and and things like that so I just thought it'd be really cool to make a game like that but that you could run on like a modern system um just soaking in the 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 mission um but yeah like because those games have never been translated to English either so, like, again, um, I don't have the capacity to, um, all right, I was just like, am I following this? And I guess so. Um, my brain was just like, what are we doing right now? <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah, so... I thought, you know, it'd be a good opportunity to kind of bring those kind of Japanese urban legends into a modern setting, but, like, definitely inspired by those games because those kind of games are just right up my street. I love Japanese urban legends. Like, I love urban legends anyways, um, but obviously studying Japanese and Japanese history, I've got, like, a, a vested interest in Japanese urban legends, and I thought, man you know, that style of, like, side-scrolling 2D pixel horror games as, like, a nod to those games that never got translated. Um, and, like, you know, add some modern urban legends in because, you know, those games were released, like, 20-plus years ago and there's been a lot of, kind of, urban legends that have developed on um, 2chan, which was the Japanese one. Um, that kind of spawned four chan, um, but that's a, that's an aside to an aside. <laughs> um, patching up. All oh, right, okay, uh, yeah, I would have loved to do that kind of stuff at school, but like, there wasn't any options. Like, I went to art college and I did like film studies and uh, communication studies and things like that, but there was no like developing kind of course. It's um, much bigger now. Um, which is good. Um, oh man, summer camp seems really like it's kind of like a situation where you just kind of have to knuckle down and just get on with it. I guess it could be a good or bad situation depending on if that's your kind of thing, really. Um, yeah, Moonlight Syndrome. Like I say, I, they all just kind of blend together because like there's a sequel or two sequels and they're like spiritual sequels, but they're basically the same game or same type of game. Um, but I, I love those games. They're just really cool. Right, am I going on foot or do I... I'm just going to get in my car if I'm looking for Snake. Need sugar. Let's roll. In. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I just... I really, really... Would, I wish I could get my brain to just cooperate and just be like, yep, good door. We're going to make it happen. Let's develop some games. Because, like, 
I've got the character designs like you know drawn in pixel pixel art form and I can make music pretty well if I do say so myself um Bart, could you get out of the taxi anyways do I know you, little weed? I need that radio you borrowed. itchy for curry this radio is going to help me score a bow key day checks uh last time I checked chicks like that car is not into electronics why don't we race for the radio oh I totally oh, another race okay Rude. It's starting to get crushed into. Thanks. Oh my god, this taxi's awful. It's like the wheels are. Well, I was going to say, it's like the wheels are rubber jelly, is what I meant to say. <laughs> rubber wheels are made of rubber. Oh, this, oh, this is awful. Oh no, 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 no. Oh yeah, there we go. We're doing some Springfield drifting right now. We Oh no 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 no. Oh god. That was fine. I panicked and then it was fine anyways. Oh my god, get out of my way. I've got an itchy nose as well. Still my nose itches. If I got hair on it or something, it will not stop itching. Right. Finish line and scratch me nose. Ha <laughs> ha Um Oh. Well that's really cool. Nice to hear um you're doing something cool like that. That sounds really fun. Um Yeah. I'm just kinda like blown away by how fun that sounds. Um Counseling. Oh, a counselor at the camp. Good for you, Sophie. I really like to hear that. Hopefully, um, you know, being a counselor, you might end up picking picking up some more things whilst you're in the thick of it, I guess. But it's it is just like I don't know, I think some people have just got the brain for um for programming. And I just don't think I've got that brain. Or I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things, like, not to get like, oh, you know, I'm an English teacher, but it's like a, a lot of languages. You learn language easier the younger you are. And I ain't young anymore. <laughs> so I think learning a programming language, like, it, it was a miracle that I even started picking up Japanese, let alone programming language that's like a lot of maths heavy stuff going on as well but hey ho keep at it if i keep going back to it every now and then but i'm just more interested in like making music and writing the story and doing the art if i could just get someone to program my ideas that would be uh oh, that'd be peachy or if someone could like you know somehow make my brain just click and understand how to use Godot or whatever. Like, Godot seems to be the one that most people say is like the easiest to wrap your head around. And if that's the easiest and I can't wrap my head around it, then, you know, what hope's left for me? <laughs> that I'm not going to be able to do things in Unreal. And I mean, I, I could probably like um, do something in RPG Maker, I guess. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, come. Oh, come on. Move. That was just rude. How dare you? Right, I think I've got to call this uh, this mission my last because my curry is calling me. I must eat curry. It's getting late. got to have my food. <laughs> but I'll probably stream again in the next day or two. It's nice to, to stream again and see old faces, see some new faces. This music's banging though. I can't believe I did it though. God. 
This reminds me of my... I used to have a banjo and I sold it. <laughs> That's one of my big regrets is that I sold my banjo. But I can play guitar, but I couldn't play a banjo very well. You, well, I mean, I thought they'd transfer one skill to the other quite easily, but they really didn't. It was fun, though. Have a good time when you got a banjo, you know? And a big jug. Part of a jug band. Oh, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, get in the car back. What the? <laughs> wow, what a stress. There we go. Come on. Speed up. The losing track of people part is actually a lot easier than the rest of the game. I say as he's getting in on me. There we go. <laughs> Why it's the dang road. I'm trying to, but my nose will not stop itching. I have to keep stopping every 10 seconds to scratch my nose. Stream back after a long time has been a massive success. I did not stop scratching my nose the entire time. Made the right decision putting the webcam on. Ugh, oh, man. Um. Yes. For anyone new to the channel, <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm going to wrap it up in a minute, but feel free to follow me. That would be much appreciated, and um, I'm probably going to stream again in a day or two, because it's quite nice playing this game. I rather enjoy it. Um, I'm going to figure out how to save first. I don't think it's done in the, the menu. No. How the hell do I save? Because last time I talked to Mr. Burns, and this time it's like, that's a race. Honestly, I do not know how the hell I'm supposed to save in this game. Like, I really don't know how to save. Oh my god, my car's blew up. Oh my god! Please, help me save. You know what, I'm going to go to the phone and see if that'll work. And if not, I'm just going to go back to the Simpson house. Yeah, see, we had the same thought of the phone. Hmm. Oh. Huh. Oh well. Is there a map in this game? Because I don't think there is, is there? Cause I feel like if I had the map, I'd be like, okay, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm not going to end the stream just yet because I would really, really, really like to save it. Oh my god. Seriously, how do I save the game? Um, <laughs> If anyone knows how to save the game, I've never played this game before. This is why I put Backseat Gaming Allowed in um, the Twitch tags because, like, I don't want to know. I have, like, such a low tolerance for games these days. Like, I look back at the games I used to play as a kid, I'm like, how did I even deal with some of the things that this, these games expected of me? Trying to find a save uh, isn't too bad, but... I swear the save game wasn't there when I looked last time. I swear it wasn't. No, 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 no. There we go. Hey, beautiful. Well, I'm going to go now because Curry is calling. But thank you, everybody, for watching. And um, nice to see you, Sophie. Uh, an old face, but a new name. Love it. Love it. Um, and I'll post in Discord as well um, that wrestler that I was talking about. But um, anyone that's new to the channel, give me a follow. It'd be lovely to see you again. And don't be shy, you can always say hi.
like I said, I only bite a little. Anyways, yes, very nice to see you. Goodbye, everybody. Love you. Mwah.